Adomuka Swana Sana. Swana means dog. Downward facing dog. So why is it named like that after a dog? If you see the dogs, once they wake up, you know, they'll stretch their body, right? So some of you maybe, you know, witnessed it. Some of you have not seen it. So generally, after, you know, dogs, once they wake up, they'll stretch their body. It's sort of exercise, you know, to get the flexibility, to get out of the lethargy, you know, tired. So they'll do that, actually. And also, when we stretch the body, we feel fresh, light, flexible. So that is the reason, you know, this, this is named after the dog. This looks similar, not exactly the same, it looks similar. So this is very good, you know, for the hands, all the joints, nervous system, neck, head, spine, heart, breathing issues, digestive organs, legs, you know, muscles, nervous system in the legs, lower body, everything. This is very good asana and also it is not that difficult. It is an intermediate asana. It is not easiest, you know, it is not difficult asana, it is in between. So I will show you first and then I can explain about it more. You can be on the knees like this and then be on the palms. And see, the soles have to be on the ground, mat, completely like this. It should not be like this, it should be like this. And the legs should not, you should not bend the legs, it should be straight. And hands have to be straight, don't bend the hands. Spine has to be straight. Okay. And spine, you have to bend it, push it towards the legs and towards the back like this. See, when you do it like this, then only you will feel the stretch from the hands, in the spine, shoulder, spine, and also in the legs, calf muscle till here. It is very good for the back pain, spondylosis, you know, many things relating to back and also leg, joint pains, nerve system issues and all. This way, you need to close the eyes and observe the breath. If you are tired, you can come back to sitting pose. Otherwise, you can just come to this pose and then do it again. This way. Then relax. You can do it 3 to 5 rounds. Each round, try to hold it for 30 seconds. 30 seconds to 1 minute. If you are a beginner, try to hold it for 10 seconds at least. If you are a beginner. So I told you now, just remember, hands have to be firm. You should keep the hands on the mat firmly. Don't keep it loose. You may fall down. The legs, as I said, the soul has to touch the mat completely. That's when you get the you know, benefits, complete benefits. And also spine has to be straight and we need to push the spine towards the legs and towards the mat. That's how it is. And you need to close the eyes and observe the asana. In this asana, even the blood runs towards the head, you know. So that also helps a lot. It is good for the brain and the organs in the upper body. So if you do this asana regularly, you can stay away from a lot of diseases, starting from, as I said, right, from the brain-related eyes, nose, breathing, breathing issues, throat, thyroid problem, breathing issues, heart-related, lungs-related, digestive organs-related, spine-related especially. It is very good for the spine as well. And also it is very good for all the joints, nervous system. Not just one, it has a lot of benefits. So do this asana regularly, you can stay away from disease.